Well, I had no time to run by the cigar shop. I was late picking the uh, the old lady up <clears throat> from work today. So I stopped to get some gas, and they had cigars at the gas station. So I said to myself, do you really want to? Yeah, I got something. So, what exactly did I get? Well, your typical gas station cigar would be Dutch Masters, El Producto, Anthony and Cleopatra, all, all machine made, Phillies, machine made, machine made cigars. And um, they had this. The Dutch Masters, ooh, look at that, deluxe. So, I bought two. And I've lit one, and we're about to try it. Now, I've had these cigars years and years ago. You know, we've all smoked them, and then we moved on. This one actually has a natural Connecticut shade wrapper on it. Something that most of the machine-made cigars don't. Most of them have that homogenized, sweetened bits and pieces that's been made into a sheet of tobacco and wrapped as binder and as wrapper. So here we go. This is a uh, Dutch Masters Corona Deluxe with a natural Connecticut shade wrapper. Well, that's surprising. This was a dollar fifty. I'm completely surprised. I've smoked worse ten dollar cigars than this. And uh, you know, it's a short filler cigar, so you're always gonna be tapping the ash. But flavor-wise, it's actually uh, surprising. It's not sweet. It's not bitter. There's really no aftertaste. There's really nothing on the that lingers on the finish. But for a dollar fifty, in a pinch, that's not bad. Keith Brick. Quit laughing. That's really pleasant. Okay, we'll talk to you next time. What are you smoking tonight, Ed? I bet it's something a little bit better than my Dutchie's uh, Corona Deluxe. All right, talk to you later. Curry.